There's some newer functionality in Dynamics GP that allows you to look up past purchases by customer when you're entering sales orders in Dynamics GP. There's a couple things you have to do. You do have to set up that functionality. and You do that through the Professional Service Tools Library, and then that functionality becomes available right on the sales transaction entry screen. So let's go through that. The first thing you need to do is set it up. So I'm going to go to my Professional Service Tools Library here, and I've set that up as a shortcut on my main page here. So let's go there. Here's the Professional Service Tools Library screen. Now I've got all these installed, and what I've done is I've installed this SOP customer item lookup. Again, this gives you the history for specific customers of items that they've purchased when you're in the sales transaction entry screen here. So this one has a second checkbox here. You're going to want to check that because when you exit this screen, it's going to add some additional functionality to those screens. So do that and then click on the radio button here and then just exit from the screen and the setup is done. The second thing you have to do following the setup is to populate the history for the sales transaction. So to do that, go back to the sales area page here. What you'll want to do is go to the sales order processing setup screen here, go to this additional tab, and then hit create initial lookup data. It'll go through there and create the tables that you need to use this function. So now let's take a look at this function in action. So we want to go, let's go to the sales transaction entry screen here. And let's enter an order. And once I have the header information, what I can do is I'll just go to the additional button here and do a historical lookup. And this will show all the items that this particular customer has purchased. I can just select the item here and it will automatically be populated on the sales transaction entry screen. I can do it again. And it's that easy. Try out this new functionality, you will need a professional service tools library, and that is available with the current licensing of Dynamics GP.